Welcome to the St. Michael Easter podcast series. My name is Chris Garada, and I will be leading our meditation today, which includes prayers, a scripture reading, and a reflection on the reading. May you be blessed this Easter season. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Here ends the reading. This passage from Matthew's Gospel begins, arguably, the most important teaching in the Bible. In the fifth chapter of Matthew, Jesus begins what we know as the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mount is an incredible bit of teaching. Jesus is in Galilee with throngs of followers. They have followed him up one of the little hills overlooking the lake. And Jesus goes into the midst of the people and begins to speak about God's kingdom. This teaching skips from one idea to the next, but consistently points beyond our world, our perspectives, and our reality towards something that is holy God. The idea that God's reality is not our reality is likely nothing new for us. We are reminded over and over again in scriptures that God is bigger than us, knows more than us, sees farther than us. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that what Jesus teaches seems so odd, so different, so countercultural. Jesus begins his great sermon with a series of declarations. Jesus does not open the discussion for debate. Jesus declares without any reservation, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. And with each declaration, I imagine Jesus' listeners, like us, were more and more confused. The confusion comes because what Jesus says just simply isn't true in our world. Let's take the first three declarations. It's very difficult to be poor. It is debilitating to mourn. And since when do meek people get anything? Jesus is drawing a straight line from what is worldly to what is godly. He is making clear that our values and our economy are not God's values and economy. When we really dig into these verses, we might just begin to believe Jesus literally. And in doing so, I suggest we might miss the point. If we aren't careful, these declarations can be interpreted as advice. And if we aren't careful, we can begin to think that Jesus is offering us a secret hint, a look behind the curtain. And perhaps we begin to seek each of the ideas that Jesus calls blessed. But hold tight. Jesus isn't offering us good advice. Jesus is offering us good news. This is not an analysis of the world because we know it's not true. Jesus is announcing what has started to change to point to what can be. The message of Jesus is based on a very simple promise. What we see now is not all there is. God loves us, has always loved us, and will always love us. God is inviting us into that full, complete love. When we seek God, seek to follow God in Christ, we are shifting toward that complete, divine reality. For us today, we are met with challenges every day. Some days, those challenges are small, and many days, those challenges are big. For each of us today, we are reminded of Jesus' promise that God's kingdom is near and that we can be a part of that kingdom now. Today, as you go about your work, as you care for your loved ones, as you strive to be the person God made you to be, 
Consider that this world is temporary. What we see in front of us, every success and every failure, every joy and every heartache, every gain and every loss, is only temporary in God's reality. Although much of what we face may seem overwhelming, we face every day with God at our side. Jesus speaks blessing upon us all. May we bear that blessing into the world to be a blessing to all those we meet and to help move ever closer to God's kingdom now. Please join me for the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the King Eternal, who divides the day from the night, and turns the shadow of death into morning, Drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>